I said in the previous video that it's good to use the Edit Mesh modifier after you've added all your openings, but sometimes you can't always follow that advice. Let's say it just occurred to me that I need another window over here, but I've already joined the walls. I'll sketch in a window. and I'll move this up. Select the wall, go down the stack to the line, let's turn off the buttons, and attach the rectangle, and everything looks fine. No problems. This is because windows don't pose a problem to the Edit Mesh modifier. They don't mess up the vertex order on the outer spline, which is what we're altering with Edit Mesh. However, if we want to create another door, then we'll have a problem. I'll draw in another rectangle and make a door. I'll make it 6 foot 10 by 2 foot 6. I'll move it using 3D snap to the corner and then I'll turn off snap and move it inward. Then I'll attach it to the wall and for clarity I'll toggle off show end result. Go to the segment level and select the lower segment and delete it. Then I'll go to the spline level and trim this segment away. Go to the vertex level, select these vertices and weld. Go back to the object level and I'll go back to the top of the stack. It looks okay at first glance but we've changed the outer spline by trimming away that segment. So it's interfered with the Edit Mesh modifier. You see the Edit Mesh modifier was operating on specific vertices of that outer spline. And now that we've changed them, we have an issue. Look at the, uh, the jam over here. It seems to be beveled inward. You see the Edit Mesh modifier is moving this vertex in now instead of the vertex that used to be over here. So when you get this kind of problem what you need to do is just get rid of the Edit Mesh modifier and recreate it. I'll go back into the top viewport and add Edit Mesh and then I can move these vertices as they need to be minus 5 in X and over here we need to move these over and just snap them with 2D snap like that. And now we have a perfect wall with new openings in it.